there are a few things that I find just comical, and I can't help it. I <laughs> like this one here. I got an eBay notification massively discounted. I was watching this because it was selling for $79.90. And I want to know how high these things being one of the two most so-called popular gifts of the year. Now, I remember there was a year where people could cash in by buying the most of the popular gifts they could buy. And by doing this, they sell it for more than it's worth. Three times, five times, ten times. They used to do it with, well, iPhones, of course, every year they try to do this. But even Apple's getting better at making sure they have enough stock in hand before people go to take that latest and greatest iPhone and try to sell it for twice the amount of what it's worth. These people to me are scandalous and greedy. And they're probably not even using their own money to buy the products to begin with. They're using a credit card hoping they'll sell it in 30 days and not pay interest on it. So I put this on my watch list. And I got this notification today, massively discounted from $79.90 down to $32.90. It's still only worth $14.98. I don't know who I hate more. The people willing to pay five times. In this case, I hate the people buying the items and selling it in 20 times its value because this is a toy for a kid for Christmas and the parents are just trying to get what their kid wants. And other things like an iPhone or, or, or something else that is an adult item, who's worse? The one selling it for twice to five times the value of what it's worth? Or the one buying it that is so materialistic that apparently has too much money and doesn't care if they spend five times extra for what it's truly worth because it's all about the image. Or the popularity, or look at me and look what I have now, and you don't. I'm not quite sure which one is worse in that case, honestly. Let me show you something real quick. And before you hate on it, don't stop the video right away when you see this. Yes, that's my lab. And yes, one of these are fake. Can you find the fake one? You see, I was supposed to do a video of fake versus real. That would mean I would be required to buy two. One real one, one fake one. That's it. Two. Except I ended up with 22. But am I on eBay selling them for 30 to $80? Or Craigslist? No, I'm not. And I decided I had a much better idea with it. The original plan was to give them away to the neighbor kids. But I only gave away a couple to the neighbor kids because I came up with an even better idea, you see. My nephew spends most of the year in and out of hospitals. A young kid who, his life, you can actually say he considers it normal to be in and out of I ERs, ICUs, hospitals, where you can't count the amount of surgeries on two hands in a single year that he usually might have to treat his conditions and the problems that he encounters with his health problems and his, I won't get too personal I'm not going to share everything about him his issues and everything else all I'm going to say is these are all going on Christmas day and I'm hoping that I feel good enough that day I wake up in a good enough physical condition that day and even if I don't I've asked my girlfriend to drive me and I will still do it no matter what even if I suffer 20 times more the next day or if I pass out and hit the ground again, it doesn't matter. These will go to kids in the hospital on Christmas Day. And I did do the fake versus real video. But unfortunately, I, I fell and twisted some things pretty bad. And it, 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 I'm, 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 I'm in a pretty sad shape right now. I'm hurting pretty bad. So that particular video of fake versus real will not quite make it out in time before Christmas to warn people on, you know, what's fake and what's, which one's fake, which one's real, and which one to buy and which one's not.
Let's go back to, to, to those real easy identifiable markings, which are package number matches first four package number matches the last four of the UPC, which matches your item number on a real one. All real packaging. You have a few key identifiers here. The, 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 the model of this is the 3700. Or, or sorry, the 3700 is the category of this fingerling. Uh, this model is the 3706. 3706 will, will be found here. And the last four digits of the barcode will, will also say 3706. So these two should always match. Another thing to keep in mind is only authentic fingerlings have the serial number stamped. Look at the packaging closely. I'll hold it in an angle and you'll see this embedded stamp here. See right there? 30617 what was that? T1? TY? TY I think. There's an authentic it's indented. You can feel it with your fingers. It's not not flat. It's not printed. And I have not found this on any of the fakes. Also, that three seven zero six right here at the bottom of the package identification three seven zero six matches your three seven zero six at the barcode UPC and three seven zero six once again up the top. You remember that little stamp I mentioned? 30617TY. That, that is the stamped in number right here. So, so let's not forget this number. An authentic one will have 30617TY. Let's see what that is. 30617TY. The serial number will be on the monkey and it's stamped to match the serial number on the packaging. I'm doing this because I can't, can't, um, uh, had, had, yeah, I just haven't been feeling good. So, so this is, this is the, the short version of fake versus real since we're getting so close to Christmas and I'm running out of time. And I mean, Christmas is four days ago, away. So I'd hear my advice. If you're still looking for one, and you're willing to pay $30 or pay the little extra, that's fine. To, to, to satisfy, to meet your kid, that's fine. It, maybe it just shows you love them a little bit more. I mean, $15 to $30 isn't that big of a price. Not when kids usually want. So there are some differences between these, these special edition ones. And I haven't opened up an actual special edition glitter, so I don't know what the differences are. Of course, I don't want to open these all up because... These are the ones I want to give away to kids at the hospital on Christmas Day. So, please be careful. I'm sorry I wasn't able to get that video out. I'm done trying to plan videos. I plan to release a video on the Apple Watch Series 3, the day it was released with LTE. I plan to release a video on the iPhone 8 Plus, the day it was released. I received both of them on the same day. I had to try to get one. One was shipped to my house. By the time I was done getting these two items... I didn't have it in me to do the video. So I'm done planning videos. No more planning videos because the plan never works out. And so this is the best I can do for you right now is this, 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 this screen capture recording warning to tell you fake versus real, how to tell the difference real quick. And eventually I guess I'll still release the inside comparing the electronics because I think it's pretty, fairly interesting. The, the quality of the electronics, the sensors and everything else compared to the fake versus real one. So. For everybody else, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, whatever it is you celebrate, you know, enjoy your time, spend it with your family, your loved ones, and please be safe while you're out there. Keep on tinkering, and hopefully, maybe I'll be able to do a video by the end of the year, maybe I won't. If I don't, I will see you next year.